Hello students, welcome back. This question is from GATE 2006 exam. It's for two marks. They are saying, if you add these two numbers, A and B, under what conditions will you get an overflow? First of all, let us have a look at the statement. Then we are going to solve it. We consider the addition of two, two's complement numbers, B and A. You can see both of these numbers are n bit. A binary adder for adding unsigned binary numbers is used to add the two numbers. The sum is denoted by a C and the carry out is denoted by a C out. You can see the sum is also n bit. Which of the following options correctly identifies the overflow condition? Okay, so all of these options I have noted them down as well as I have noted these numbers. They are saying you are adding A, B. The sum is C. All of these three numbers are n bit numbers. Okay. Now, under what conditions will you get overflow? First thing is A and B both are signed numbers because they are represented in two's complement form. The adder that you are using is an unsigned adder. That is mentioned just to confuse you. It doesn't actually matter because once you specify that these numbers are unsigned numbers. We'll just perform the normal addition, okay? And the result will also be in two's complement form. So we actually need an unsigned adder only. So that is just there to confuse you. Second thing is, this last stage generates this carry C out, okay? The final carry of this addition is C out. Now, whenever you have a overflow, what is overflow? Overflow means when you add two n bit numbers, the sum is of n plus one bits. Okay, that is the case of overflow. That means there is possibility that sometimes you need to include this C out in your answer because answer cannot be represented in n bits. We need n plus one bits. Okay, this is overflow. We need to determine under which conditions will there be an overflow. Let us see. Suppose n is equal to four. That means we are talking about four bit numbers only. In this case, you can see the range will be from minus 8 to plus 7. These are the formulas. We have already discussed it. Now, what are the possibilities of these two numbers? That means if these two numbers are signed numbers, they can be both positive or both of them can be negative. Okay or one can be positive and one can be negative. Now, if one of them is positive and one of them is negative, there can never be overflow. Okay, so here there is no overflow. How? Let us see. I'm saying one number is negative one number is positive that means you pick one number from here and other number from here is there a chance that you will move out of this range no it's never possible say the first number that you are picking is minus one from this side you pick minus one from this side you pick anything say you pick seven seven minus one will be six that means you are here you are still in the range only say from here you pick plus one minus 1 plus 1 will be 0. That means still you are in this range only. Now, whatever numbers you choose, you will remain in this range only. That means the answer will always be representable in 4 bits. Okay, so there will never be overflow if one of them is positive and other number is negative. Let us see one more example. Say from negative side, I pick this number minus 5. Now, what Ever you choose from positive side, the result will always remain in this range. Say I choose my, uh, plus 7. Plus 7 minus 5 will be 2. Okay, still you are in this range only. That means whatever number you choose from here, you are trying to move 7, uh, sorry, 5 steps back. If you choose 7 from here, you are moving 5 steps back. You reach 2. If you choose 2, suppose First number is 5, second number is 2. Now from 2 you are trying to move 5 steps back. That means you are going to reach minus 3. In worst case, if you choose 0, still you will 
move five steps back that is minus five so you cannot go beyond this range you cannot go beyond eight and beyond plus seven on this side okay so you can see positive and a negative number can never cause overflow okay now let us consider other case which is positive and positive see positive plus positive here there is no overflow let us consider this case which is positive plus positive i am saying there is a possibility that overflow is caused but it is not sure okay see if both the numbers are 1 and 1 1 plus 1 is 2 2 is still in this range that means there is no overflow but if one of the numbers is 7 other number is 4 then 7 plus 4 becomes 11 11 is not in this range that means there is overflow so if both of these numbers are positive there is a chance that you get overflow okay similarly if both of these numbers are negative there is a chance you get overflow now under what conditions will we get overflow if the numbers that you are adding are positive and the resultant is negative that means there is overflow let me show you say you are adding positive numbers that means 0 0 0 1 you are adding 1 and 7 to 7 you add any positive number in this range except for 0 you will just move out of this range okay that means 7 plus 1 will cause overflow now 1 plus 1 is 0 1 plus 1 is 0 1 plus 1 is 0 1 plus 0 is 1 and the final carry will be 0 okay you can see the most significant bit here is 0 that means first number is positive second number is also positive but the result that you are getting is negative okay so positive plus positive gives you negative this is never possible this implies that there is a overflow the result is actually of five bits okay this is the sign bit this one is not the sign bit okay similarly let us see a case when negative plus negative causes overflow let me write it here let us analyze two negative numbers if you add any negative number to minus 8 you will go beyond this range okay so minus 8 is 1 0 0 0 this is how you write minus 8 and 2's complement form let us take any other positive number 1 0 1 1 okay this is also a negative number this is minus 8 and this one is 1 0 1 0 this is minus 5 okay we are adding minus 8 and minus 5 let us see what is the result see now this number is negative because it begins from 1 this number is negative because it begins from 1 but the result says it's positive okay this is not possible you add two negative numbers the result has to be negative that means actually we are not able to represent the result in five, uh, four bits you need to extend to five bits okay so this one is the sign bit that means whenever these two are one but the uh, sums most significant bit is zero there is overflow the other case is when most significant bits of the two numbers are zero zero but the most significant bit of sum is one in this case overflow is there you can see option b matches c if a n minus 1 and b n minus 1 both of them are 1 1 so a n minus 1 b n minus 1 dot c n minus 1 bar that means c n minus 1 is 0 this they're talking about this case okay a n minus 1 is 1 b n minus 1 is 1 but c n minus 1 is 0 in this case there is overflow 
other possibilities both of these are zero but the sum is one this one is zero this one is zero but the sum is one you add two positive numbers and you are getting negative so in this case also there is overflow so they are counting both of these cases that means every possibility is cover covered so your answer is option b okay